We have studied the multiplexer. Multiplexer is a combination of circuit which, which allows you to transmit many channel input to a single channel output. So with respect to the selection drive or by the use of selection line, we can transmit appropriate input to a particular single output channel. So just opposite to that, we have another circuit that is called demultiplexer. Demultiplexer is a combination of circuit which actually allows you to transmit a single input to a multiple numbers of output. Okay, with selection line. So the selection line is allowed to select the input to load which one of the output line. So if you have n number of selection line, the output lines are 2 to the power n numbers. So let's take an example of 2 plus 1 multiple. So this is the basic block diagram of a demultiplexer where you can see we have one input line on the left side and n number of selection lines are from 0 to n and according to the number of selection line we will have output lines. So total output lines is equal to 2 to the power n number. So if there is 2 to the power n number of output line then there should be n number of selection line. So as like multiplexer we have seen 2 cross 1 multiplexer, 4 cross 1 multiplexer, 8 cross 1 multiplexer. Likewise in D multiplexer we just have the opposite that is 1 cross 2 D mux, 1 cross 4 D mux, 1 cross 8 D mux and so on. So here it is represented that only one number of input but 2, 4, 8 and so on numbers of output. So those output are actually dependent upon the selection line. Demultiplexer is used for one to many converter or serial to parallel converter or data distributor or you can say one to many converter. As like our multiplexer, demultiplexer never used for universal gates. So there is only one computational circuit that is called multiplexer. From using multiplexer, you can create any kind of circuit. But by using demultiplexer, we have limited number of functions. So demultiplexer cannot be used as universal gate. Okay. So let's consider a 2 plus 1 multiplexer and we will study all about that. Let us consider 1 plus 2 demultiplexer. By studying 1 plus 2 demultiplexer, we can able to understand the operation and internal circuits of demultiplexer. So this is 1 plus 2 demux and we have only one input line that is called I and two output line that is Y0 and Y1 and I have only one selection line S. Because S here one selection line that means N is equal to 1. I told you the output depends upon the selection line. So the number, number of output lines is equal to 2 to the power N. Here N is equal to 1. So 2 to the power 1 is equal to 2 numbers of line are like Y0 and Y1. You can see, so this is my selection line S, this is my output line Y1 and this is my output line Y0. So we can see whenever S is equal to 0, that means when S is equal to 0, input is routed to 0th line that is Y0. When S is equal to 0, Y1 is equal to 0 and Y0 is equal to I. And when S is equal to 1, when S becomes 1, I is rooted to Y1. So that is Y1 is equal to I and Y0 is equal to 0. From the proof table, if I want to write the expression of Y, so I can write Y0 is equal to S bar I and Y1 is equal to S I. So this is the output function of a 2 cross 1 demultiplexer. This is the output expression of a 1 cross 2 D 
boil heat etc. So from this output equation, we can design the internal circuit diagram of the deep boil heat etc. From this output equation, we can easily design the internal circuit diagram of the deep boil heat etc. So let us consider this is S and this is I. So if this line represent S, this line represent I. So this line can be represented by S complement. Okay, so if I want to design Y dot, so Y dot is equal to S complement I, so I take an ARM gate, the output is Y dot, and here is S complement I, so I take I from here, and S complement from here, so this is Y dot, and Y1 is equal to S I, and another ARM gate used to create Y1, so that is S, and I. Okay, so this is nothing but the internal circuit diagram of a 1 plus 2 D multiplexer. Let us study the 1 plus 4 D multiplexer. This is the basic block diagram of 1 plus 4 D multiplexer. As I am having 4 output line Y0, Y1, Y2, and Y3, so we should have uh, we should have 2 numbers of selection line. Those are S0 and S1. So total two selection line that means n is equal to 2 and 2 to the power n and that means 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. So 4 number of output line. So if you try to develop two table of this, I can find S1, S0, Y3, Y2, Y1 and Y0. So for these two 0, 0 combination, when S0 is 0 and S1 is 0, I, I input is rotated to Y0. So that time Y0 is going to high. So remaining all the things are 0 except Y0. So Y0 is 1. Likewise, for 0, 1 combination, 1, 0 combination, and 1, 1 combination, I can find 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 0, 0. Clear? Yeah. So these are the basic combination. Instead of I consider, so I is equal to 1. As I consider I is equal to 1, in the output I can write I, I, 1, 1, 1, 1. But if I take I as I, not like 1, so I can write Y0 is equal to I0, y, Y0 is equal to Y, Y1 is equal to Y, Y2 is equal to Y, y3 is equal to y. Clear? So with respect to this two table, I can write the expression as y0 y0 is equal to s1 complement s0 complement i. So 0, 0 is s1 complement, s0 complement and i. And y1 is equal to s1 complement s0 i similarly y2 is equal to s1 s0 complement i and y3 is equal to s1 s0 i so this is the basic output fundamental equation of a 1 plus 4 d multiplexer so using this Equation, I can design the internal circuit diagram of 1 plus 4 D multiplexer. So, for this, I should have uh, S1, S0, and I. So, this is my S1 line, this is my S0 line, this is my I line. So, this is the inverted of S1, that is S1 complement. This is inverted of S0 that is S0 complement and this is I. So Y0 is equal to S1 complement, S0 complement I. So there are three variables here. So I have to take three input argument. So the output is Y0, input is I, S0 complement and S1 complement. Clear? Likewise, Another three input arm gate used to design Y1 and Y1 says that 
S1 complement S0 I. That means S1 complement S0 and I. Y2 is equal to S1 S0 complement I. This is Y2 that is S1 S0 complement and I. And also Y4 is equal to S1 S0 I. So this is S1, this is S0 and this is I. So this is the internal circuit diagram of a 1 cross 4 demultiplexer. So with this I completed the demultiplexer chapter. So if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. If you have any question also, if you separately ask me in the comment section, I try to create another video in the multiplication channel.